Okay, so this is a tomato review for the Mountain Gold tomato. Now, it's the first year I've ever grown it, and it didn't do too good due to a insurge of late blight, which took out most of my tomato plants, but I did manage to get a few off this plant, and I'm able to do a review on it. So, I don't know much about the Mountain Gold. I will put whatever information I have on it in the description below. But why don't we do a bricks test right out the gate and see what the sugar content is. Appears to be a pretty moist tomato. It's running at about five on the bricks, which means that it's probably not going to be terribly sweet. Uh, sometimes it is, even regardless of it saying five, it, you might get, it, it might be, it just means that there's lower mineral content. So if my Brix meter says five and it's not really sweet, then that means the mineral content was probably pretty high and the sugar was low. Or if my Brix meter says five and, it, and I eat it and it tastes really sweet, then that means the mineral content was probably lower because it's picking up both the sugars and the minerals. Let's take a closer look at what it looks like on the inside. All right, that's what it looks like. This is about the average size of them. Yeah, a good size slice of tomato. They get a little bigger than this too. And I believe it is a Solanum like a Persicum. It was a regular leaf tomato. And so let's, uh, let's cut a piece off and give it a taste test. Probably about 35% on the tangy part. Sweetness was pretty low. It was probably around 20% on the sweetness. It had a nice tomato flavor, but the tanginess was kind of strong. I would imagine if there was more sugar in this tomato, it would taste a lot better. But unfortunately, it wasn't that sweet. So I'm not going to be, you know, rating this tomato very high. But again, I'm going to have to grow this for several years in several different climates and conditions to get the best flavor out of it. Um, the texture of the tomato was kind of soft and chalky. Though it was still moist in general, it had a plenty of uh, tomato moisture in it, but it was still kind of chalky a little bit. So meaning like when you eat it and as it's moving around in your mouth, it kind of has like a chalky feel to it, so to speak. It wasn't creamy. It wasn't like tomato, you know, fruit like, but I do, I do these reviews to give you an idea on what you'll probably get and what to expect. So it'll kind of help guide you as to maybe you want to try this variety or you might want to try another variety. I'm not 100% pleased with it, but I wouldn't say that I couldn't use this tomato in my cooking. For example, uh, using it, adding it to sauce. I think adding it to soup would be fine because uh, be, being a tomato is so soft already, you wouldn't have to cook very long. And it would really thicken up your soup a little bit, give it some body. So I think it would go good in soups. I think it would go good in sauces, but not by itself. I think you can add this in to help thicken sauces, but not too many of them because then your sauce will get kind of on a creamy side and it get got kind of, when you cook, when you make tomato sauces with these yellow tomatoes, it's not red tomato sauce. So it's kind of white tomato sauce like, and it's just not as, as appetizing. I don't think it's not as appealing to the eye. So I do think that there is a little bit of, uh, you know, that part that might be turn you off if you tried to make a full sauce with this. I, I just think adding it a couple here and there to your sauce would be perfectly fine. I don't think that would do anything. It would actually give your sauce a little more body. You just don't want to overdo it. And I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, can you make uh, tomato sauce with the yellow uh, pear tomato or the yellow this thing? I'm like, yeah, you can, but it's the texture of the sauce and, and, the, and the color of it isn't necessarily eye appealing depending on presentation. So, for example, if I'm making a pizza pie and I use yellow tomatoes and I do it just the right way with like three different cheeses in it, yeah, that might actually have a nice little twist to it. But if I just made like a regular pizza pie and used it, it may not look as appealing. And so that's why I say that. So not to digress too much off of it, but... Again, I'll give you another look at it. A little, little bit of cat facing on the bottom. It's a pretty nice tomato. Uh, I don't think I'm going to offer seeds on my website this year for it. I'll maybe next year when I get more tomatoes out of it. 
and I'll offer it then, but for now, we're just doing a review on it, and we'll see how it goes next year, and if I get a bumper crop from it, and then I'll offer the seeds on my website. All right, so that was your tomato review for the Mountain Gold. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.